right, we're back here at Burns Brothers Performance, and we're going to do a quick update on the 55 Chevy. The $500 55 Chevy. That's right. $500 Wrecking Yard 55 Chevy. Uh, we're going to do a quick update. There's a few parts that have come in. There's a little bit of work that's been done, and uh, we'll go from there, and we'll kick it off like we usually do. Cheers. All right, George, so here we have Dana 60. Tell us about it. Yeah, so um, this is the Dana 60 that I got from uh, Randy Ashley from uh, Wildcat Auto Wrecking. Um, and uh, so I cut the ends off, um, took it to Scott Fink, and they blasted it for me, uh, got it all cleaned up. Um, added the uh, ladder bar brackets, the coilover brackets, put this brace in. I don't even know if it needed it, but at least it'll be somewhere to tie the car down to. <laughs> um, and then um, I had a set of 410s or 411s for it. Um, I ditched those, ended up with a set of 456s for it. Um, I just thought that'd be a little bit better suited for what we're doing. Um, I did buy a set of axles off a of Buddy, a used set that ended up uh, were for a nine inch and uh, the lengths were way different. So, um, just got these new axles from Dutchman for it. Um, they did a nice job. Um, we, actually, uh, we got a product placement fail. Yeah, we it's, actually, uh, it's upside down. Is it? Here, yeah. let me turn it for you. How's that? That's better. That's okay. a little better. Yeah. We'll, we'll adjust. <laughs> uh, so, uh, those guys are really cool. A guy named TJ over there worked with me on getting the right lengths for it and all that stuff. So we sent it the pinion. Um, strange spool, uh, new bearing kit, all that stuff. Uh, strange yoke that I ended up uh, getting off a of Facebook marketplace. Uh, so that's all uh, good to go. Uh, Marty Mack loaned me his uh, rear end jig to weld the ends on. Um, that's a pretty slick setup. I actually had to custom make some center pieces because him and I usually use that thing just for nine inches and 12 volts. Um, never done a dance 60 with it before, but so I had to. Um, fab up some center supports for that jig. Um, but yeah, got that done. And uh, I'm in the middle of doing the bearing or the uh, <clears throat> gear setup. And uh, this is a really weird setup. I don't understand, you know, why they didn't machine the case out further and put a wider shim and, you know, a thicker shim on the outside. But the shim actually goes behind the bearing, which is really strange to me. Um, and you, you can't, you know, it's like a hundred thousands total for the two shims. Um, side to side so you actually have to um, pull the bearings off and put the shims on every time so I'm thinking about just getting some other bearings that can hog the center out a little bit um, so they'll slide on and off but and then uh, <clears throat> yeah I got uh, different bolts with spacers your uh, you know washers for the steel that's just temporary but um, oh okay yeah it's just kind of mock up on it right all right. Just trying to figure out where I'm at with the shims. Um, the wells look good. They're all right. It's pretty heavy um, material, so. Yeah, they're okay. Nice. Um, but yeah, this is the first day of 60 I've done, so the gear setup is totally foreign to me. I actually had to find an explosive view of a Dana 60 online um, and got that um, figured out. But we'll get it together. Um, like I said, just, you know, it'll be perfect for doing burnouts. Absolutely. Um, but I got the ladder bars. I ended up finding those on Marketplace. Uh, that was kind of a little bit of a fiasco, finding the ladder bars first and then finding everything to match them. Uh, the brackets came from eBay. A uh, guy had them on there. And then this is a, a competition engineering uh, cross member with their brackets. Um, and then their diagonal link. Uh, pretty basic stuff for the ladder bar stuff. No, nothing special there. Um, I was shopping around for coilovers, but I think I'm going to wait till I get the chassis done um, and the car sitting on the ground to figure out what what length I need. Um, you know, got to have the uh, chrome <laughs> cover. I, you know, I searched for one of those gold Moroso ones, and I tell you what, they're, they're as rare as hen's teeth. And when you do find them, everybody wants an arm leg for them, so chrome it is. Nice. Um, I got a... Rebuild kit for the front uh, straight axle. Oh, kingpins, uh, yeah. Yeah, kingpin kit uh, from Speedway. <clears throat> um, pretty nice, you know, I mean, it really was, it was like 45 bucks. That's freaking cheap uh, for everything that came with. Uh, 
and then I have an aluminum Corvette style uh, one inch bore master cylinder for the front disc and rear drum. Um, that was like 45 bucks. It's crazy how cheap things can be if you shop around and get the right stuff. And then this is like a um, <laughs> an Amazon wiring harness uh, and I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. But I tell you what, for what this car is going to be, this is exactly what it needed and it was cheap. So yeah. um, it came with other connectors for the headlights and all that stuff. Um, those are the rear brakes I got from Lindsey Wern. Uh, he upgraded his pickup to disc, I believe. And I had put a post on Facebook looking for brakes and he answered the call. Um, yeah, so I got those from him and literally they're like... I'm just going to bolt them on. <laughs> yep. No modification needed whatsoever right there. Lindsay's got a high 9-second Chevy pickup we might have to see on the channel sometime. Yeah, a beautiful yeah. Chevy pickup. I believe that car was like a show car. Or a show pickup, I should say. Yeah. Um, and he used to take it to car shows and stuff and then decided to drag it. But, um, it's a storage, yeah, it's a storage so, container. Yeah, we're doing a little... Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> whole other deal, but we're doing some house stuff. So a little insulation is stuck in the car right now because this car is on a back burner because I'm working on this one this one still <laughs> so this car is still on the back burner but I am gathering parts but I got the rear end together um, and you got a roll cage coming so I need to order a roll cage I ordered um, it's from Rhodes race cars I've never dealt with them before never um, used their products but uh, it was a good deal from Summit and uh, used my NHR discount to buy that um, so that's on its way uh, I'm just gathering parts here and there for it as I can, and then that way when I get ready to do the car, I'll have kind of everything I need, hopefully. For the nice. Most part. But, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for the update, George. All right. Anything so else? It's just collecting dust, and as my, my dad would have said back in the day, it's just sitting in the hangar. Yeah, it's waiting. Yep. All right. We'll give you another update soon.